Kia ora, I'm Shuri Kinnear and this is the COVID-19 news update for Thursday. There were 10 COVID-related deaths announced today, along with 19,566 new community cases. One of the people who died was in their 30s, one in their 50s, three in their 70s, two in their 80s and two in their 90s. Four were women and five were men. There were 930 people in hospital with the virus, including 23 in intensive care. 10 of the 23 of in intensive care were in Auckland. Speaking to media outside Auckland's Middlemore Hospital today, Northern Region Health Coordination Centre Chief Clinical Officer Dr Andrew Old said pressure continued to mount on as hospitalisation rates remained high. While it's great to see the number of COVID cases decreasing in Auckland, we're not out of the woods yet. The risks of this outbreak remain high and it's important that everyone continues to play their part. We are very aware of situations abroad where there have been resurgences of cases after a first peak. While it's true that it's most important to register your positive RAT results so we can continue to ensure you get access to any support and care you might need, it's also important to let us know about your negative results. Put simply, this provides vital information about where we are at in the outbreak by helping us know how widespread testing coverage is. If we have an indication of how many people are negative, we can work out the trends of the virus and the care that might be needed into the future. Middlemore's Emergency Department Clinical Director Dr Vanessa Thornton said COVID sought and found unvaccinated people and urged everyone to get vaccinated and to get a booster shot. So please continue to get your vaccinations across our region and get the booster shot. Isolate at home if you become unwell or, and seek the right medical advice when you need it. Thornton added there'd been a chronic shortage of staff and the Omicron outbreak had added more stress to that situation. She said about 10% of staff had been off for COVID related reasons. Over the last couple of weeks, we're seeing about 30% of the patients arriving at our emergency department testing positive for COVID. Here at Middlemore, we have five wards dedicated to COVID patients and like other DHBs in the northern region we have deferred all clinics and surgery that are not time critical. Where clinics have been deferred we've redeployed that staff and we're managing to keep our hospitals safe. Meanwhile the Herald revealed today that Auckland nurses and midwives are being offered a $500 bonus for every night shift they work to help hospitals combat the staffing shortages. The Nurses Society of New Zealand said the added $500 was a significant bonus which showed how desperate they were for staff. And that's the latest COVID-19 news for today. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.